श्री मोहम्मद हामिद अंसारी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर श्री सुशील कुमार सिंधे श्री लाल कृष्ण अथपानी के रमन खान एमिनेंट अवार्डीज ऑफ द नेशनल कम्युनल हारमोनी अवार्ड्स श्री अनिल गोस्वामी होम सेक्रेटरी डिस्टिंगस्ड पार्टिसिपेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट द अवार्ड विनर्स आई एप्रिशिएट द इनिशिएटिव्स टेकन बाय यूनियन होम मिनिस्ट्री टू एस्टाब्लिश दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन नाइनटीन and organizing the annual functions to recognize the services very distinguished services provided by individuals and organizers i would like to take this opportunity of congratulating sri kamliana and sri mohammad abdul bari and the foundation for amity and solidarity new delhi the awards conferred on them today are recognition of their extraordinary efforts in promoting communal harmony in our country and in strengthening national integration within its diverse people ladies and gentlemen harmony and tolerance are at the very foundation of indian ethos our tradition our history from the ancient days even the old hymns of vedas say there is one truth integrated one the wise call it different names ekam sat vipra bahudha vadanti it's due to its legacy india embraced and assimilated as our own the various religions reforms movements and waves of renaissance that have swept our consciousness of the centuries in the beautiful language of rabindranath tagore in his one of the important verses written 100 years ago bharat tirtho i quote a few lines keho nahi jane kar aao bhane koto manusher dhara durbar srote elo kotha hote समुद्र हलो हारा नो वन नोज हुईन्स एंड एट हूज कल केम पोरिंग एंडलेस एनांडेशन अफ मैन रशिंग मैटली अलॉन्ग टू लूज देम सेल्स इन दी सी अफ दिस भास्ट ह्यूमैनिटी दैट इज इंडिया this india can never be fragmented into region castes communities because if india is a fragmented then whatever will be left will not be india as such so dear were the ideas which were preached over centuries when our sages praised for all sarve sukhi na bhavantu sarve santu niramo sarve bhadrani pushantu ma kashchi dukha bhag bhavet so dear were these ideas to our founding fathers who the framed the constitution they drafted a specific provision in this regard thus our constitution lays down 
the fundamental duty of every citizen to promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India, transcending religion, linguistic, and region of the sectional diversities. However, despite the sacred mandate, despite the directive principles of state policy, despite the safeguards that our laws provide, despite all the measures taken by our administrative machinery, why is it that communalism does not seem to go away from our society? Why is it that we do not learn the lessons from our own history but keep repeating the same tragic mistake? None of our institution preaches hatred. No religion preaches discord. On the contrary, they prescribe that it is the moral duty of every individual and of society as a whole to spread peace and amity. What can we do to uphold and implement this? How can we be more vigilant against negative forces and successfully thwart their nefarious designs? These are the questions which staring at us in the context of the very recent happenings. I appreciate the Prime Minister's decision for convening the meeting of the National Integration Council to deliberate on these issues. Ladies and gentlemen, the strength and resilience of Indian society lies in its plurality and diversity. This unique quality has not been imported from anywhere, nor has it come into our society by accident. Rather, it has been consciously nurtured and nourished by the tolerance and wisdom of Indian consciousness. These principles are at the very foundation of our secular fabric, and although Maintenance of social peace and harmony is a function of government. This responsibility cannot be delinked from the duties of each and every individual citizen. The distinguished awardees who we felicitate today should be emulated. We should strive to complement their achievements with our own individual and collective efforts. Each one of us must think of our own personal contribution to peace, harmony, amity and accord in our respective spheres of activities. Dialogue never fails to create a confluence of the streams of diverse thought, opinion and aspirations. It coalesces and synthesizes the currents of vibrant cultures, religion and civilizations. It is therefore important to recognize and salute those among us who promote these methods and fight with courage against the forces of obscurantism, extremism and militarism. Eternal vigilance is a shield against those whom harm the unity of our country. We must heed the words of the father of our nation who was pained by communal strife and observed the lawlessness of communalism is a monster with many faces. It hurts all in the end, including those who are primarily responsible for it. These values must be inculcated from a very young age. Gandhiji firmly believed that the key to the solution of the communal tangle lies in everyone following the best in his own religion and entertaining equal regard for the other religions and their followers. 
I commend the Ministry of Home Affairs and the National Foundation for Communal Harmony for instituting these awards. Once again, I extend to the award winners and also to all individuals and institutions in the different parts of India engaged in building communal harmony my heartiest appreciation and good wishes for the success of their work. To them I say, God be with you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jai Hind.